Whether it's a fresh produce or leftovers, freezing food is the best way to reduce food waste and keep plenty available for extended periods of time while being cost effective. There are some tricks and tips to remember when freezing food so that it can be pulled from the freezer for maximum flavor and freshness. Freezing prevents the growth of bacteria and enzymes that cause food spoilage. To ensure the best flavor and texture, home frozen food is consumed within six to nine months. So in this video, we've discussed a few tips regarding freezing food so that you can organize your freezer accordingly. And without further ado, let's check them out. In the first place, make sure your freezer is zero degrees Fahrenheit. No more than two to three pounds of food should be stored per cubic foot of freezer on a single occasion. Otherwise, the freezer would be overloaded, rendering it problematic to maintain the required zero degrees Fahrenheit temperature. You can use a freezer thermometer once a month in the freezer. Secondly, don't put hot food in the freezer. After cooking, allow food to cool completely because placing warm food in the freezer can cause your other foods to thaw. Moreover, you have to wrap and seal food tightly. You can use foil, plastic wrap, and plastic freezer bags to help protect food from freezer burn. Try to remove as much air when wrapping to prevent freezer burn. You can also use vacuum sealer to extend your food shelf life. Or if you're using food storage containers, make sure you left enough space in the container for liquid to expand as it freezes. To avoid mystery meats and other foods of unknown age and possible origin, you should label your food packages with different markers to help you identify food in the freezer. You can also post a list of all the frozen foods with dates near the freezer and check off what is used. A nearly vacant fridge is more costly to operate than one that is almost full. Frozen foods assist in maintaining their neighbor's coolness, so keep your freezer well stocked. Place the newest food packages at the end of the freezer, and then move the older ones to the front of the freezer. Furthermore, always keep food with a higher risk of foodborne illnesses like meats near the back of the freezer, where the temperature is more consistent. Reserve the door, like the warmest place in your freezer, for items like alcohol or freezer packs. Besides, you can store seasonal fruits for further use. For freezing them, you have to wash them thoroughly, then follow a particular freezing formula. Fruits can be packed in syrup or sugar, or be completely unsweetened. Thaw frozen fruits in its freezer container, and then use it as soon as it is thawed for the best flavor and texture. You can use completely thawed fruits in sauces, pies, and other recipes that do not require proper texture. Additionally, for freezing vegetables, wash them thoroughly, then prepare according to individual freezing recipes. To ensure optimal taste, color, and texture, most vegetables except peppers and onions are best blanched before freezing. Frozen vegetables are often cooked from the frozen state or thawed first. Remember that cooking times will be shortened since the vegetable was partially cooked during the blanching procedure. You can choose low moisture veggies like carrots, broccoli, corn, and peas, which are great options for freezing. Avoid lettuce, cucumbers, sprouts, celery, peppers, onions, and potatoes should not be kept in the freezer because they're too high in water content. Nevertheless, nuts are actually better off stored in the freezer. That's because they're high in oil and healthy fats, which can easily go rancid from light and heat exposure. Additionally, whole grains are high in nutrients and oil. They are more at risk of spoiling if exposed to air. So you can freeze your grains to retain their spoilage time and help retain more nutrients, like energizing vitamin B6. Not to mention, with proper storage, fresh herbs can be stored in the freezer for up to 12 months. Either blend the herbs into a pesto or chop them up and blend with oil. It is possible to pour both pesto and herbs into an ice cube tray and allow to freeze. You should move it to a plastic bag until it's frozen. This way the herbs can easily be taken out and used in whatever recipe you need. That being said, we're now at the end of the video. I hope you loved it and subscribed if you liked it. In the comment section, let us know if you tried any of these tips and keep tuned if you want more videos just like this.